Juliet Dick Rochford aboard uh, 350 Juliet Juliet on a route from uh, Panama to Kingston, Jamaica, which is not the usual route to get to Miami. Uh, however, uh, K-Man is completely closed because of COVID-19, which is nearly no longer an issue thanks to vaccine, but still um, some countries are requiring proof of a negative test. Panama, for example, and there's some other restrictions, some of which involve uh, essential services only on the weekend in, in Panama, for example. So Panama is pretty strict. Ecuador is pretty strict. Peru is out of control. So we're headed north back to uh, the U.S. now, back to Miami. This will be our last international stop prior to landing in the U.S. Uh, and Kingston, Jamaica is the next best other than Cayman. Grand Cayman. So here we are, flight level 240. We just set up for cruise, and you can see that the fuel ring is a convincing three hours and seven minutes well beyond Kingston. 41 gallons of fuel over destination, which is more than enough, even if the winds should change. We don't expect them to change a whole lot, but we have a two-knot headwind and uh, we can live with that. But as you can see, it's a lot of water, so we want to be careful uh, prior to crossing the point of no return uh, that we have the fuel for the destination. So we don't just high-five ourselves at this point, because you see, we got a little ways to go over water, and uh, anything can happen, of course. We're confident that uh, we've mitigated all the risk, but uh, we want to be sure that we don't uh, have a rough running engine, run out of fuel, etc. So we have plenty of time on this engine, 250 hours and change, and it's been running well, no issues, so uh, fuel consumption is relatively normal, uh, oil consumption is normal, so we have nothing to suspect. We are aware of a maybe a minor induction leak, which is causing the CHTs to be a little higher than we'd like. Um, but we're managing that with a skosh of additional fuel. Normally we'd be running uh, 21 and a half gallons. Uh, we could be a little more generous with the fuel uh, because the legs aren't true fuel range legs. But we like to land with as much fuel as we can because headwinds are what they are and they change from time to time. So we're going to try to run this one at uh, 22.0 something greater than 22.5 and see if we can't get. Uh, and maintain the CHT below 400. And I'm confident we can manage that with the extra fuel we have. Next, we'll do uh, ECTM, recordation or recording, engine condition trend monitoring. So stand by for that. In the meantime, enjoy the view. Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off.